Theo Epstein isn't a guy who thinks much about legacy. Truth is, he's got a hardwired contempt for people who do. Anyone who attempts great things almost always does so because they're obsessed and because they love the daily act of doing it. He rebuilt Cubs from the ground up, and some of the moves he's made have been tremendous. The near constant television chatter about legacy only proves the wide gulf between the critic and the man in the arena. And the World Series is over, and the wait is over. After 86 years, the Boston Red Sox are the champions of the baseball world. Epstein hasn't ended two of the longest droughts in World Series history because he wants to end up in the Hall of Fame, which he absolutely will now, going down as the greatest front office leader in the history of the game. But because once he was a little boy who loved the Red Sox and the general manager disc on the first baseball computer strategy game he ever got, that love remains with him and sustains him. That's his legacy. For the first time in 108 years, the Chicago Cubs are World Series champions. He'll get soaked in champagne, get drunk on an airplane, and head back to Chicago. He's not thinking of Cooperstown, but of the people on that plane, his friends and his brothers in arms. As the sun rises over Chicago, they'll ride on a bus from the airport to Wrigley Field. The city will stop for a moment, and after 108 years of longing, you will feel the same joy as the grown men in that bus, all of them briefly children again.